In today's episode of Enshrouded, I dig some dirt, dig some salt, and dig some lava with my face. Not gonna make it. Hello and welcome back to Enshrouded. Now I have started today's video as is somewhat tradition on my channel, the dead of night. But there is a detention to this starting at night thing. This isn't just me not paying attention to where the bloody sun is or, or losing track of time. No, 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 no. I intended to start here at night because I want to show you the lighting and stuff that I've made here for Cade, our carpenter that we rescued in the last episode. He has now been moved into the basement underneath the blacksmith here and i've tried my best with what's available to me to make this a nice homely environment for him um he has some nice lighting some fireflies a rug a table and some books and stuff which is lovely a new ish looking fireplace although for some reason the textures are once again not loading in correctly um can i have that in high res no okay moving on we have a big cauldron that doesn't give any warmth whatsoever actually now it does maybe they fixed that yeah Okay, and most importantly, I have created five magic boxes. These magic boxes enable proximity crafting. Anything stored within these boxes I can craft with without having in my inventory. I will demonstrate. I don't have strings or, or anything on me right now. It's just in the boxes there. So I just created a couple of bandages from magic. Mm. <laughs> I really like the way that the shroud wood blocks here look with the uh, the storage boxes here and I've sort of lifted them off here to make them nice and easy to uh, to access and I've got um, space there for more with a bit of blue backlighting going on there from the uh, luminous blocks I have a couple more in here as well just to give that kind of like uh, contrast between blue and warm kind of lighting in here anyway um, it's still a kind of fairly dark place to exist so i'll continue to try and add things in here i may add the uh the trophy in here as well just to spice up the walls a little bit there's a problem with just straight up stone walls is oof, they're a bit a bit dull um when need wood planks of course of course i don't think i can get wood planks until we get the saw table i suspect that would be something we need to put into the saw table uh, yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, but we can get the new uh, legendary glider if we can get linen and shroud sack, which brings us on to the next thing that we need to do, which is get the farmer and uh, the kiln, which requires lumps of K, which I know means going up north. So um, now he unlocks ladders, shelves. Uh, shelves would be good. Why not? Let's get a shelf. Here we are. Let's put a shelf in. I don't think I've got a shelf anywhere in my base. So we can add one. Here, somewhere. Um, will that give us any more rested? No, it's still 34. Okay, well, that's fine. He has some shelves now as well. The only thing he's lacking is a bathroom, uh, but they can come into my house for the moment and enjoy the bathroom, which I have now installed upstairs here. Uh, I have, um, you know, a toilet, a wash basin, and... I need some more lighting in here, don't I? It's very dark in my room. A nice chandelier would do well. Uh, but I have improved downstairs here. We now have an understairs storage. Uh, I've walled that off. No longer do I need all my storage in here. I'm going to put it all in the carpenters there with the magic boxes and stuff. So things like potions, extra magical stuff and things like that don't need to be in proximity crafting boxes. They could be in regular boxes. So that's what my house is going to be. Although, you know, the more I unlock these nicer blocks, building blocks like the uh, shroud wood and the tarred roof with the things like that, I'm looking at my house and I'm like, the walls suck. This rough stone walls and things like that. <laughs> it looks property old riggedy, rickety. Properly old and rickety is the words I'm trying to say there. Uh, so, yeah, I, I could definitely do with some updating at a flintstone at least. Um, but I may just hold off a little while because... Um, I know where the timber building blocks are now, yes. And it would be nice to retrofit my house to timber blocks. Hmm. At least until you can get the cut stone walls here, like these ones, to carry on the look from the ruins that we built this house into. That would be nice. 
Uh, anyway, we have, as you can see, lots of people. They won't want to talk to me now. So let's go around and, and have a little chat with these guys. Tombs and treasures. Flameborn, you've got that spark. We share a passion, don't we? Architecture, art, grave robbing. I mean, uh, preserving forgotten beauty. It's rumoured that our queen was buried, although none know where. Alongside her curios, she's got no use for them now. She's dead. Uh, so um, why not go exploring? He's an awkward fella, isn't he? Uh, you found my notes. Yes, I've long considered myself among the best, though my Aunt Braylin would beg to differ. Of course, great artists have a signature to mark their works. Mine is a chest I set in the foundation of Braylin Bridge, right by the middle pillar. Despite my best efforts, no soul has noticed yet. Uh, building Daedwin. You know, Flameborn, I helped build Morwenna, named after my most peaceful auntie. I built many a town around here. Ever seen Daedwin? I think I left some of my half-timbered blocks there. Why not check? Find his keepers. There we go. Half-timbered blocks. Uh, that means that they're all the way up there. <laughs> that is quite a distance to go uh, to get them. But um, but yeah, we are going to get them at some point soon-ish. Okay. Equipment lost. Uh, just when I... Where is it now? It was right here. My equipment chest. I need it for salvaging, but it's got swiped. I'm telling you. Someone took the whole chest. Ask around for me, will you? Someone here is a dirty thief. Oh, well, I know who that is. It's that smeghead I was just talking to down here. <laughs> Gade. Uh, yeah, equipment chest. Keep it down. Will you? Yes, yes, yes. I borrowed it. I wanted to finish some old projects, you know, but um, I'll tell you, Oswald, I might lose me other hand. Get this. I'll tell you where to find if you keep quiet, all right? All right, so there we go. I don't know why Cade would not just ask to borrow the tools and just sneakily pinch them like that. It seems a bit crappy. Anyway, yeah, I've also updated a little bit of um, Balthazar's setup here as well. So this is the Shroudwood blocks here, which make a nice little countertop. Apart from that one, that thing on the end there is just sort of... Yeah, it doesn't look right. Anyway, um, Alchemist and Mortar. My trusty mortar is lost. I suspect it is in my... Power in Lone Thistle in the deepest depths. Please find it for me. My abilities will be much greater with it in hand. Carpenter rescued. Another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition to our roster. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, that adds a large number of quests now that we've got um, to get through. So, yeah. We've got our work cut out. I mean, we never not had our work cut out, have we, guys? So, yeah, this is... Um, Still need to sort of proceed over this way uh, and continue up around the top here. I think a salt mine as well we need in order to get some more dried fur. Although I did get a plenty of dried fur out of that batch that I did make. Uh, so I think what we can do now is make the new ranger set for ourselves, which will improve us no end. I've had a little fun with the bone blocks that we got from last time as well. Uh, looking a little crypty down here. Um, I especially like with the pillar effect, having the sort of random blocks taken out of the pillar and replaced by blo blown. <laughs> Bone blocks. Um, now, I think that looks pretty dope. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I, let me know what you guys think as well. So the lighting in here is sort of, I'm trying to go a little bit, I get some warm lighting in here to contrast the blue uh, R RGB blocks here. Um, I might take those ones out of the pillow. I think they just they just had a little too much, you know, a little too much. Um, other than that, though, there's a chandelier up here now. I need to put a bathroom in here for uh, Balthazar, um, but he's already got a bed. A bit more furniture up there will be good. We're up to 34 minutes rested with all of those changes, and now we need to build... A place for our hunter to live as well now and once the hunter's got a place to live we will be rescuing the farmer soon and they will also need someone to live now the farmer is going to be an interesting one i think you know we've got this nice patch of land here which um doesn't really have anything going for it just yet the the rake is really good at, at sort of extending paths and stuff like that so what i might do is just real quickly i was hoping the sun would come up right now um Thought I heard a chicken go off, but maybe not. Why is that? It looks like that tree is on fire, doesn't it? But it's actually what it is. is the uh, I think it's the border. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the borderline. The borderline. Yeah, I think the sun is coming up. It's just taking its damn time. Anyway, what I was thinking. The rake is OP. The rake is great. You can set it. Make sure you, you use the R and mouse wheel to set it to flat. 
Okay, and then we're just gonna we're gonna dig a path. And we're gonna dig a path up over to the edge of the uh, apothecary shop here, and then I'm gonna use it to frame out because we've got these little stairs up here, like almost like a shop window. Yeah. Can I go that way, please? Sometimes it sort of just gives up. I don't really want to, I don't really know how to describe it. It just sort of gives up, you know, but anyway, there we go. All right, so we've got a little path around the shop now. Now, that, that creates a nice little border around this L-shaped plot here. Now, I'm thinking that this would be ideal for crops to grow in. Uh, and then the farmer's house, well, I don't know what the farmer's house will look like, but, I mean, I'm thinking we put, like, a nice little barn greenhousey type build right here next to my house. So they're basically opposite the field here, which means the hunter's place uh, is going to be a little further away, which makes sense. The hunter would be out, um, not in the center of town, but out on the periphery, right? Ready to go out into the wilderness and do some hunting and stuff like that. Maybe I'm RPing this a little bit too much. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I got to try something a little bit different with this build. Uh, I don't want to just make it like a normal sort of house with different aspects and stuff like that. It's going to be... A bit of a lodge style thing. So I'm going to be using a lot of wood blocks on this one. Um, I'm hoping i got enough. 680 rough. Uh, 935 shroud wood blocks and tarred wood as well. And we're going to go with the the tarred shingle roof here. I think would look great. And uh, yeah, I think what I want to do is something a little Viking-y with it, you know? Um, no basement or anything. Just a straight up floor foundation here on this one. So... Uh, some of you guys mentioned that the foundations obviously use a crap ton of blocks here. Um, so if we use stone, that would be 256 blocks per foundation. Some of you suggested why not use the roof uh, sections, this one here. Um, it, it can work. The problem is, is when you, you're on an uneven slope like that, if I was to place roof section like there, and then there, and then there, it start, you get this like gap underneath, it starts hovering. But um, I suppose, does it... It does move the grass at least, doesn't it? We could do we could do some of it with the roof. Ceiling tiles like this bit here, like this. And then the rest we could do a foundation so that we don't have that ugly gapping underneath there. And at least then. Uh yeah, that's all the best of both worlds, as it were, you know? So at the moment. Um I messed up. Yeah. I need to turn snapping on. That's what that's what's going wrong here. <laughs> I need to turn snapping on. There we go. Okay, so do the stone foundation. I just think that maybe stone foundations are just the sensible choice, you know. But um, we're gonna get a basic kind of out, outline on this thing, and already, like you know, that's basically our stone there, isn't it? We need 192. We've only got 140. So uh, these foundations, they just eat so much, don't they? But that's what you guys are telling me. So, uh, right. I'm going to have to go and get more stone because I, I I want a bigger footprint than this. Basically, with the, the, the blacksmith and carpenter, they've got enough room for their work, but they haven't got any living space, which you don't need in this game, but I think it's nice to nice to sort of build that into the builds. Uh, so, you know, because Balthazar's got his own entire shop house with a bathroom and freaking ensuite and fireplace and everything, you know, he's got a great house over there. And the blacksmith thing was all about the basement and stuff. So I, I want I want the hunter to have a nice place. So we're gonna, it's going to have a fairly big footprint. I'm going to go out uh, and get some more stone so we can, we can actually finish this foundation off. And then we're going to do a build.
Oh, well, yeah, there we have it. Yeah, we have it. Build. Pretty much done. I'm obviously going to do lots of lighting and decorating and things like that. But uh, come out reasonably okay. Ooh, I'll tell you what I might do. Um, so I've been sort of embracing, I suppose, the uh, these things here. I think they look pretty pretty good. Um, if I can get a sneaky one in there. Maybe not, actually. That is apparently in there, but yeah. Um, we'll put another one there, will it? No, it just creates little roofy blocks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, easy, tiger. So yeah, it's um, a work in progress. It's <laughs> a work in progress, but... Uh, the roof, the roof... Things do give you some some options, you know. Give you some options. I, I could live with that, probably. Yeah, I could live with that. A little, uh, almost like a little entrance thingy. Anyway, um, there we go. It's a hunter's cabin. I think it looks. It's very small, which is. I didn't want to make it too big. I know I wanted. I said about making them nice houses and stuff like that, but at the same time, it's like this is a cabin supposed to look like a cabin you know um so we wanted to do the whole thing with the roof coming down to the floor here and i think that looks really good i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure about that chimney to be honest but um i didn't really know what else to do with the smoke stack so um these roof bits as well they do some weird things and interesting things um they just kind of give a nice little decoration it's also a nice texture the wood sort of almost plank texture Goes really nice with the shroud wood. Shroud wood is making is my favorite right now for windowsills. It looks like, um, and I built this whole back wall here shroud wood as well because it looks like smooth planks. Um, shroud wood's not hard to get. You just have to obviously be careful because you know shroud. Um, and then doing rough stone, mycelium, and flint around the fireplace has had an interesting result. <laughs> it looks. Yeah, a little, a little too busy. If I'm honest, I'm not sure. I might redo that one uh, as well. But you got a nice little space here. I might move this this workbench under the stairs here. Put some storage under there as well, because um, I think that'll look really nice there with like a little table and some lamp and along this window here. A nice little place for them for her to sit, or I may even put a bed in here and turn this into a, a little living room as well. Uh, sorry, bedroom. Rather than living room, put a little table in the corner here or something. Uh, upstairs actually was going to be bedroom. Sorry, forgive me. Upstairs, little bedroom. Uh, enough room in here for a bed and table and light or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Living space achieved. Now, I think the hunter, she obviously got the drying rack, which is over here. I'm sure we probably get um, some more stuff. Of course, the backpack is full. Yeah. And we probably get some more stuff from her eventually as well. Uh, <clears throat> right now I need to just offload all the building blocks. There we go. We had some some good stuff there. Hammer in there as well. We're gonna need that. Okay. Move the hunter into a new home. Pick that up. Yeah, I think I was thinking about putting like a little campfire out here as well. Like just out here on the thing, just a little campfire here. I think that'll look really cool as like a hunter type thing. Uh, and then obviously all the other stuff with it as well. So let's put her and the hunter. Put her yeah. Here we go. Warm, sheltered, comfort, level 24. Super. All right. So yeah, um, we'll do some decorating and stuff with her place next time. For now, that will do nicely. Now, we have a farmer to rescue. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this done today. What with an eternal spell over here, a story of rot over here, and the queen's tomb. I believe... Hidden tomb entry. No, no, it's not that one, is it? Uh, I... There's the... Sorry, there, there's the farmer. It's pinging away there. Queen's tomb, alchemist mortar, ancient farmer is there. Maybe we'll just prioritize that. Rather than going around there, we'll just jump off of here and fly as far and as close to that as we can and go get the farmer. And that will complete the set. We'll have all then the crafty people, at least those that we know about. I don't know if there's any more in the game. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe there is. Maybe there is. I don't know. Anyway, there's a rake, seminary thingy, minimum jimmy jig, jimmy jig. That's the technical term. 
let's put this back we've got arrows oh i'll tell you one thing we need to do before we do set off and that is craft ourselves some new gear let me just put this uh fur um i might already have it in a box somewhere i gotta be careful with these magic boxes the temptation is to just go through um and just shove it in whatever box but if you can consolidate and organize looks like i haven't got any fur anywhere actually so that works out then you get a lot more out of these boxes than just dump dump sites you know all right i still need to put a banister and, and fill in the understairs of the carpenter place as well so a little look see what does the new armor set cost so we got the scout set the chest oh string huh we can do string we can do string. Oh, we can do string. Legs. Hands. Hood. Oof. I'll do the feet. Dried fur and resin. Resin is easy enough to get. We just need to chop some trees down. The dried fur uh, is a little bit harder to do because we'll need to uh, go and get some salt. But at least in the meantime, we have got ourselves... Uh, we look like we're wearing we are wearing an animal there aren't we basically <laughs> so this gives us 12 stamina ranged damage stamina and stamina regen or actually stamina regen is part of the wanderers boot set i don't know is the scout set better boots wise one stamina regen well 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 eight magical and eight resistance two and two and two so two less resistance more stamina regeneration yeah, Trick, tricky one. Tricky one, gotta be honest. Not sure. Um, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out there. Uh, the other thing as well is the... Damn it, we should have done this before. Small backpack. More dried fur. I should have got that first. Darn it. Okay, well, we're going to get that as well. Um, we need... <clears throat> we we need we need salt, basically. That's, that's the thing. Now, we know where there's salt. There is salt literally down here. And this chasm here, I think, is salt. Uh, but she's also given the salt mine location over there as well. Um, so that won't be too difficult to go get. I'll just drop off all this string into the uh, the boxes. And then I think we'll sleep through the night. And we'll go see if we can find some salt before we go rescue that farmer. Hey ho, sit about the way. Yeah, in here, look. Nailed it. I don't know. Is this just like a, a shrouded chasm? It may just be a shrouded chasm. The reason I thought there was salt down here is because it looks identical to the to the one we found um, elsewhere. But I suspect this is just a regular chasm. Right. Uh, to get out of here, then. <laughs> uh, hello. Well, hang on. About where's? Oh no! Don't tell me that there's no there's no grapple out of this one. Maybe we've got to go up here. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Um, oh, we're under Braylon Bridge. Now, the Braylon did mention his middle pillar uh, has a little secret uh, underneath it, doesn't he? Um, and I believe it's this rather obvious looking pile of rubble here. There we go. Ma Metal Star Mace, huh? Damage 19. Yeah, even with a one upgrade, you're not going to cut it against that Wailing Sword, I'm afraid. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so that Salt Mine is a bust. Now, I believe the other one is there. That custom marker is the other Salt Mine. There's not a quick way to it, but the quickest way, probably fast travel up here, which I can't do from within Shroud, of course. And then fly down best we can. Damn bugs. Right, here we go. So we are jumping off of this corner right here. And we are trying to go up over those cliffs. And to be honest, it ain't going to happen, is it? So let's aim for the gap of Rohan over there. Uh, yeah, I think there's, because there's a cave, I think, that runs through, or something like that, anyway. Now I'm getting closer, I'm like, that doesn't look like a cave. Maybe it is. 
<laughs> Either way, we're not going to make it as far as I wanted to. But we are going to go get salt, and it is that location we have found before. On the way, actually, what we might be able to do is get some farm soil. Can you get that from here? Yeah, there we go, farm soil. Sorry, doggy. Sorry, you're coming. Uh, you only need a little bit of it, and then we can use the rake to get the rest. Right, the salt mine is just over here. Here we go. All right. You gonna get me some salt? Mm, we can get some more dried fur. And then the new backpack. Oh, well, this should keep it going for a while. Salt. No, not, not purple berries, obviously. There we go. Yeah, 78 cued. <laughs> and that's the small backpack. So... That adds a few slots. Lovely stuff. Okay. Let's go get, hopefully, <laughs> the farmer. I can see the farmer's... Uh, vault from here there's no way i'm gonna make it that far we're gonna drop just before uh oh, what was that town called again then something or other we're gonna drop just before there i think make the rest of the way on foot but still it's a nice way to travel <laughs> as long as you're not afraid of heights so we picked up the bone blocks right there Oh, enough little flint, flint deposit there. Okay. So I think. Yeah, directly ahead. There's a big drop here, though. Get some stamina back. There's an elixir well over there. You can see it. That one there. You can see the actual things. Alright. Go for the high ground here. Is that the flame shrine that I've already got? I have, I have picked up that flame shrine. I'm almost certain of it, but it looks like it's regenerated. I think they, I do think they re uh, they respawn, don't they? I heard somebody saying that they do. Got the spark, lovely. Okay. And we got a bandit camp here. Again, let's get high ground. Ferndale, that was it. Ferndale, Ferndale. Welcome to Ferndale. The farmer's just over there, but let's clear Ferndale out. See if we can do this. Okay. I see two bad guys right there. I did not mean to do that. That was <laughs> an error. <laughs> Crap. Yep. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a bother now. I meant to press C. I pressed Control instead of C. I've been playing different games, and the crouch is either Control or C. I just got it wrong. That's clearly not what I wanted to be doing right now. All right, here we go. Level seven. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Stop chugging. Alright. Bit messy. Game is very forgiving though. Mostly. Get them in the head, it really F's them up though, doesn't it? I think we're mostly clear. I still hear one. I think he might be up there.
We got it. Lots of scrap metal and stuff. There he is, look. No problemo. Uh, we've got a couple of messages from Belthazar here. Um, read this one first. We are all weary and for lack of rest, but I assure you, I will have more tinctures and remedies ready soon. Please be patient. You can pick them up at the tower. I notice some of you are turning towards unsavory means of protection. I beg of you to refrain from such extreme measures. Black market solutions are highly volatile and dangerous. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. You can't know what consumption of such elixirs may possibly cause. Yeah. The following precautions against the shroud must be taken at all times. Don't venture into valleys or near rivers, basins. The shroud can only take you quickly. Avoid contact. Do not breathe it. And be sure to shield your eyes. After contact, medicate immediately with approved remedies and quarantine. Please only take prescribed medication. Stay clear of the elixir. Its long-term effects are unknown. You Balthazar. Yeah. So, obviously, when they delved it deep in order to make these elixirs, they unleashed the shroud, uh, filled the valleys, the rivers. It took over the rivers. That's why there's no water on this game. It's all just shroud, um, vines and stuff now. It's just drained the rivers and stuff. It's remarkable that there's still so much life, really, above that. Kind of important things, rivers and you know, bodies of water and stuff. <laughs> A little bit. All right. Flint arrows. Lots of salvage and stuff in here. I'll get this all off camera, don't worry. I'll smash all this up. We'll get it. Okay. So that's Ferndale. Uh, we've got to go into that house as well. Doesn't appear to be anything up here, but. Just little bits of stuff everywhere, isn't there? Can I make this? Uh, yeah. I beg your pardon. Well, I guess I'm down here now. Oh, a little spinny spinny. Caught me off guard that one actually. Right, can we can I up there? Jump. Uh. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Two arrows and the banister falls down. <laughs> oh man. Check upstairs. There's usually stuff at the top of these houses, isn't there? Um, I will defend my house. I could tell they were advancing from the smoke that was on the horizon. Many fled, but I stayed there snarling outside the door. I will hold this house, and my ancestors would have done. I hid the treasure under the stone stairs. It would be safe and sound, far away from the clutches. When they come, I'll be prepared. All right, sweet. Treasure. Let's get the books, though. Metal scraps. Old books. There he is. He died to an arrow in the face. Ooh. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed defending this, you know, object with your life. Stone stairs. Under the stone stairs, it said, didn't it? Right, well, that'll be those stairs there. Yeah, easy, tiger. Behind this bookshelf, then, I'm guessing. Gotta get the books first, though. There it is. A wildwood short bow. All right. So, I've got a Wolf Snarl's Longbow, currently uses 5 stamina. This has no stamina cost. Level 7, with 4 upgrades, that would make it level 11, which would be the same power as this. Actually, it would power, the power would be 16, not 19. Man. Though it's not as good as the one I've got. It's a short bow, though, so it has no stamina cost. That's the... That's the big thing with that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'd have to think about that one because it will do less damage, but you know that. 
doesn't use a lot of stamina, it uses five stamina. I've never run out of stamina using it, so I wonder if it, if it is actually worth it, you know what I mean? I'm not there shooting so many arrows all the time that I can't regen stamina. But there we go. Alright, so I think that's this place done. I don't think there's anything else here, so let's move on now to uh, the farmer's respawn point. Achieved. Don't know if there are any bad guys here. But the ancient vault of farmer. Here we go. We've got... That's definitely lava. That's not the red shroudy stuff. That's lava. Okay. we got three buttons we need to find. Alright. Okay. Well, there's a grapple there. Uh, okay, so they're going to be... Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> they could be the... Um... I, I imagine they're going to be top to bottom, uh, or bottom to top, rather, you know? So we start at the bottom, work our way up. Maybe that's a sensible idea? Maybe that's lunacy. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to start down here and work my way up. See if that works out for me. If not, then I'm screwed. Okay, well, this didn't work out, did it? <laughs> I don't know if I can get down there, but it looks like maybe there's something down there. There's something over there. Oh, there we go. Look. Maybe. Oh, why did that just stop suddenly? What the hell, man? It just dropped me into the lava. Okay, so that's the grapple I originally tried to do, isn't it? Because uh, over here, I see a secret door. Secret door. Okay, I was hoping for a button, but the chest is also good. Um, I'll take the, the staff of staffiness. Uh, I need to go over there. I feel like... Is there actually anything over there? Is that a trap? I'm doing it. Not gonna make it. Oh my god. Okay, lava doesn't instantly kill you. It just sort of singes you though, so it's not... Okay, no, this, this is just a trap. Come on, come on. You can make that. You can make that jump. Yeah, good lad. I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. Or maybe... Ha <laughs> ha! I feel like I came to this the wrong way round. That turns those off, though. That's nice. Secret door. Okay, so that's one button. Metal Star Mace. Okay. Yeah, I totally feel like I... Yeah, I... Yeah, okay. Where does that go, though? This is a dead-end grapple. It's not another grapple above this, unless this is so that it can run backwards. I can go back, yeah? But no, I think actually I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to go this way. Right? Because you then jump over here. You gain some stamina a second. I can make it. I got the stamina. There's a respawn here, that's never a good sign. <laughs> <clears throat> that means the game expects us to die. No, Mr. Spange, I expect you to die. Oh, double grapple. Another button, though. Second button of three. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Lots of things to smash. I'm going to smash all this stuff later. Okay, we got another climbing bit. I think there's something over there. I think there's like a secret door or something. I see like pots and stuff. I don't see a secret door though. No. Oh my god, that I nearly did not make that. That was unre unbelievable. Okay, here we go. Up we go. Okay, so the final button. Somewhere up here, I guess. It is not this way. And this may be the way out, I think. On the roof. Maybe, I don't know, there's a door here, actually. Door with spiky spikes. We just run across this casually. Apart from that last bit there, which we had to jump over. No big deal, that's three buttons, yeah? Yeah, the doors are open. Um, 
Hang on, is this the way out or is this a chest? This looks like a chest and the way out. Apprentice wand. Okay. Free wax. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rescue the farmer. Sorry, I thought I saw a secret door. Oh my god, so many people died here. This is ridiculous. Boom. Scarecrow plus three more at the farmer. Emily Frey, the farmer. Boom. Hell yes. New location markers added as well. Alchemist Mortar. Lone Thistle. Okay. I don't know what the new markers are, but there we go. Um, we'll figure it out. Drub seedlings at seed bed. Eight more. We did it, dudes. We rescued the farmer. All is well now. That is that is every one of the craft's people. Done. Yeah, I don't know if there are any more. I don't think there are, but there may be more that, that aren't listed. You know, that we'll just find. I, I don't know, but... That's all that we that we go, we begin with, I guess. So that's it. We can now start the game. <laughs> <clears throat> all that we can now start the day, game. All right, brilliant. We don't know what Emily unlocks. I suppose the seed table, right? But we've got to get alchemy stations, mortars, laboratories, smithing tools, smelters, masonry tools, kilns, table saws. Uh, nothing for the hunter or the farmer by the looks of it. Okay, good workshops the seed bed this is quite cool you can look into this stuff the forge um this is what we have unlocked of course it doesn't include stuff we haven't unlocked fungus oh that's nice materials like trees and sticks herbs berry bushes um evergreen tree sapling broadleaf tree grains like corn vegetables tomatoes amazing really good um i guess the more stuff we find so we've unlocked tomatoes and stuff but the more um foods we find i guess we can make uh different seeds more seeds and stuff like that right amazing okay well ladies and gentlemen unfortunately that is all the time we have for today but we have achieved today's mission build the hunter uh, hunter's lodge and rescue the farmer i'm going to spend a bit of time here off camera just basically picking up all the bits and bobs that i run past the scrap metal out of these things smashing all the pots and stuff uh before heading home and we will plant plant <laughs> we'll place the farmer in the next episode and we'll see if we can make a nice little barn slash greenhouse build for her and get planting some of our first crops finally you can actually get some cozy cozy building done huh never do building in this series <laughs> i hope you enjoyed ladies and gents thanks again for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye